Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to present to you and formally introduce Bob, Koss, and Arthur, the Play No Games Podcast. It's your favorite podcast. When we talk about real life and exchange a few laughs, we stick into our path. When you find understanding, just know that that will never last. We ain't here to play no games. The world is getting crazy, oh. and now we know we gotta be the change. Oh, hi. Welcome. <laughs> it's Cartier Rob. <laughs> it's Koss. It's Ty Ford. And I'm working the camera and the audio. Yeah. So give me some. <laughs> so give me some. Um, slack. Some slack. Slack. Yeah. Welcome to the Play No Games podcast. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Another week. Another week. Another solid ass week. Did I have a cool week? I like low key it was dragging for me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like surprised it's Wednesday already, but also like I can't believe it's only Wednesday. Bruh. I don't know. That's how I feel. True. Yeah. So if you like what we're doing, like, comment, subscribe. And we're back with our sweepstakes. If you do submit at least a $25 submission, you get to win a date with none other than Bachelor to my right. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think uh, I can uh, do this anymore. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa! Damn, so, that's Tay's our bachelor. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, bro. Wait, wait uh, the cash app is be right here, down yeah. there, up there. Damn, wait, that's, that's crazy. You know what? You know what I want to play the games about? <laughs> We're already jumping into capping this. your life. What's going on, Cos? Hey, uh, talk to we me. We don't need to get into it. Uh, I've just um, put the jersey in the rafters. Uh, for the t- yeah, for the time being, uh, I guess Whoa. you could say that. Uh, wait, 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 wait! I did not mean to bring this up on the podcast, but um, yeah, I can't. I can't call myself a bachelor anymore. Oh, so you, you, so you've been listening to LMA? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Right, get the reference. Oh, I'm that's sorry. crazy. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, so you like so you you be listening to Usher and Alicia Keys now. I'm just not a bachelor right now. Okay, uh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. so you off so, them streets. Uh, yes, I'm off the streets. So it's like we were gearing up for the summer, and you just said, you know what, I don't need no ass shenanigans. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this is crazy. Yeah, you just so. keep leveling up each week. Yeah, I think I think now Tay's the only bachelor uh, on the couch. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh, you thought I was going to be ashamed? I, I, I was not sure if you... What are you talking about? We've already talked about it. We've already talked about it. Yes. We talked about well, it. Well, no, like yeah, last, yeah. Like last week we alluded to it. No, we talked about it for a little I'm while. talking no. about it. Okay, okay. We, I mean, I still give him I'm shit. I might have missed the episode where yeah. it became an official announcement. Yeah. No, I'll give, I'll still give him shit like, oh, you know, we got a private jet to the East Coast, you know. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to play no games about... You didn't even tell me, man. That's I'm sad. sorry. Yeah, I actually didn't mean it to come out here. I was going to tell you beforehand. <laughs> damn, damn. I don't know. A new, wow. a new place, a new boo. I, I guess so, yeah. New car. Everything's new. Damn, All you must shave your legs, too. Um, what's no. His, what's his name? What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it, you're is like it. my my third or fourth friend that said that exact line. <laughs> oh. uh, no, it's good. It's good. Everything's good. Um, I've actually known her for a while. Wow. So it's someone I've known for a minute. Uh, tell me again. <laughs> tell me again. Yeah. And we'll be lovers and friends. <laughs> I gotta know. I don't. I don't know. Baby. Um, you gotta learn that, otherwise you can't come to the cookout, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. Is that R and B? Yeah. Wow. Was that? He who? actually doesn't like R and B. I'm not an R and B listener. I'm sorry. This <sighs> is like the only human I've already given him shit. We don't have to. He he legitimately doesn't. He do didn't R&B. give me shit for. I I generally do not listen to R and B. I've tried it. I gave it's, him the greatest hits. All right, it's, so I, I have it's to. It's not my cup of tea. I'm sorry. I have to ask then while yeah. we're still on here, and then we can transition to my play no games. <laughs> but so when you picture your wedding, like in the future. What are you? What are yourself or your bride walking down the aisle to? Oh, I don't know. That's her decision. Metro, t- shut your oh, shut yeah. your uh, ass up. Uh, I don't know. She can pick that. I, I generally. I had good life by Kanye. <laughs> oh yeah, it'll be something. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. No, um, if she chooses R and B, it can be R and B. I just, I, I would literally, I have no like, I don't know. Your mom would be so confused. Yeah. <laughs> if good life came on. No, it wouldn't be good life. I don't. Lawries. I don't know what it'll be. Jesus walks. 
No, it'll be something <laughs> soft. I'd have to like do some digging. I can't think off the top of my head though. Yeah. I don't. I don't listen to a lot of soft music like that though. I'll be honest, like, I don't know. You know, I have to say a speech at your wedding, right? You have to. Yeah, if like, you want it's to. mandatory. If you want to, oh, it's mandatory. It's mandatory now. It's mandatory. Like <laughs> okay. put it in the program. Black guy says something. <laughs> You're not gonna be the only one. Don't worry. <laughs> So that was my play no games, even though it was all that. Yeah, I tell you. you all, right, all, right, all right. What do I play no games about? Mm. I'm going to shoot from the hip right now because I didn't really think about anything beforehand. I play no games about letting your spouse have a say in what your bachelor or bachelorette party looks like. Super fucking random, but go. Wait, wait. You said not letting them yes, have a say? Yes, not, okay, okay. not letting them have a say. Uh, let me clarify if I no, misspoke. Uh, we were just on you no know, topic of marriage, walking down the aisle, so it kind of just like came to my head. I knew I do know somebody whom um, I was in a wedding about mm, five years ago, ago mm-hmm. or so. Uh, initially, we were going to go to um, it was between Houston or Atlanta for his bachelor party, and then somehow a call came through and we got told we were going to go to uh, Nashville. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So, you know, happily married. They're happily married. So it's none of my business. I'm just like, bro, it's your last time. Last hurrah. Like, even if you're not finna be on no bullshit, at least go out on your own shield. Not someone dictating you like, no, you're you're not going to do this. Because I'll help whoever you're marrying. They're going to have enough respect not to cheat on you. So there's actually something I really can talk about on the podcast because, you know, I got real deal ops like NDAs. A little bit, a little bit. And I know what you're talking about. I was a part of a wedding party that was very disorganized. And I'll just say one thing. I think as light as I can say is I know what you're talking about where if you're letting the boys plan it, let the boys plan it. If you have rules, then you should tell us what's the rules. Because if we think of like um, building a bachelor party, you sound like you you do the basic things because it should be. Um, I feel like it's the golden rule. Like, yeah, you could do everything but cheat. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's dumb. Like, if that's your homie, homie, you gonna get them out the way. Like, but that's just me. Yeah, that's just me. I just find it interesting and and weird. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, it was just kind of a kind of popped everybody's balloon with the bachelor party. I mean, I ended up not being able to go anyways because of some work ob- obligations. But mm-hmm. I also wasn't running to catch a flight to go to Nashville, Tennessee to stay in a cabin. So listen to country music. Nah, it was like some, on, nah, on. it was like more like some three six mafia. And, and, a ball MJG. Okay. Yeah. In like the Smoky Mountains. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you do your bachelor party, um, where, just, you, where are you doing? Just please don't make it like abroad, like or like abroad. far away. Like don't don't put me on a plane to go to your bachelor party. You are, you you just know just know y'all gonna have to fly because I'm not doing this year. I'm doing mine in the Dominican Republic. Jesus. I'm. <laughs> I'll see you and get back <laughs> for reasons. <laughs> it won't be far. I feel I don't want it to be in Portland. Cause f- for bend, the, just do oh, bend. bend, so they can, so they, so I can get ran out of town. Yeah, what? That's a sundown. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's, That's awesome. awesome. The Proud Boys live down there. <clears throat> no, they don't. Yes, yes, they, they, yes they, they do. do. Uh, do they? Yes. yes. <laughs> well, it is gorgeous. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. And not just, not just the Proud Boys. I would love they to have, live in bend. They have, the, they have the cloaks still. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is beautiful. Uh, I'm so, There's a no, great height. Yeah. Uh, in the morning. I love Ben, and it's a great bachelor spot. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> where are you going to send me, man? What? It won't be, like, ridiculous. Okay. Because I just don't want to be here. I just don't want to run into the same people I, I see, you know? Yeah. I can see some, like, a San Diego, little San Diego yeah. trip. Let's see. Like, I want to go to DR because I feel like with what I want to do there – is the most fiscally responsible place to do it at. DR. Okay. Yes. Uh, if I were to do that same thing in Vegas or LA, it would cost me 
a lot more. So, what do you, what do you want to rent? Yeah, what do you want to do? Yeah, tell us what you want to do. I can't give everybody my secrets. Somebody else might sell some ideas from my bachelor steal party. The idea. Oh, <laughs> having a theme, man themed bachelor party. No, that. Well, sorry. <laughs> wow. Sorry, <Santa>. wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. My buddy did a bachelor party and he was like, oh, Thursday night is Tulum night. And I'm. Stop. He was like, Friday night is Carnival night. Like, oh, this is. Stop it! <laughs> exactly, exactly. I, I, I'll kick you with this. Give you this. I was getting a cake for um my best friend's birthday, right? And a person that I frequently is someone I talk to about my problems, that I respect. Mm-hmm. She was like, "Are you gonna get some candles and light some candles for him?" I was like, "Men don't do that. We just get the cake. <laughs> That's it." <laughs> Facts. Like, why? Here. And I was like, it's just like we don't have the time for that. I'm gonna be real with you, uh, and I appreciate you because I saw that on Bro's story. I don't really give a damn if my friends give me a cake. Just buy me a drink. I've never had really. Yeah. My mom buys me a cake. I've never had a friend buy me a cake. Yeah. I, I'll just say I appreciate. I appreciate if my shorty did it, but like my, my yeah. man's doing it. It's like, and I live by myself, so it's like. Bro, unless you, you were, me down uh, or unless you were taking slices of, this, unless you're taking slices of this cake, it's gonna go bad because there's no way I'm gonna eat this shit. Yeah, bro, you gotta get a cake. Brotherhood, like, don't get me wrong. There's certain stuff I feel there is the difference, but being able to give your, give one of your close people, we'll just say, <laughs> a card and a cake. That's, I think that's as important or dessert. It doesn't have to be like a full cake. It'd be like boom, 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 boom. Because there's something about celebratory about like, hey, you know, we're taking time, we're stopping because you know, yeah. y'all in your mid thirties too, so it's like a big like accomplishment. Yeah, how many years you got? Quite a while. You got like two. Listen, not there yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Anywho. Uh, I'm playing no games about uh, taking some time off, vacationing. Uh, I did some planning this past week for kind of summertime trips I want to take. Mm-hmm. Uh, just lining stuff up and yeah, just making me realize how important it is because I haven't really left anywhere since. Ah, uh, well, I, I went to Vegas for like my birthday yeah. in February. Uh, so what now? It's like end of April. Probably gonna go somewhere in like July or August. And then again in October, but um, yeah, that's kind of been what I've been focusing on lately. And it's just, it's just good. It's just good. It's like the break I need. Did you submit uh, your PTO to Rob yet? <laughs> <laughs> I did that like a week before. <laughs> First and foremost, shut the fuck up. Now, when we start paid getting- time off. <laughs> oh, okay, keep the same fucking energy when the fucking dough starts rolling in. Okay. I will. I will. I will. Say paid. I'll keep the, keep the same bullshit. What? What y'all? What do y'all think I do when I'm not doing the stuff? I'm doing all the behind the scenes mm-hmm. shit y'all don't see. I bought a lotion. No, I don't have time for that. You don't have time for. I'm making for... grammatically incorrect titles. Yeah. <laughs> which, which one? Which one? Oh, which I'm one? Sorry. Just... Which one? Tell me. Tell me. You just some bitch. Tell me. The ones I always text you about. <laughs> no one texts me about them. Okay. No. Damn, you don't read text messages. <laughs> He drops them in the chat. Oh, y'all must have another group chat. Oh, shit. He's oh, on, shit. He might not be on it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Which episode gra- gra- has the grammars? Oh, damn. Fuck you. Hey, back me up on this guy. I can't. I feel like I have schizophrenia. I'm not the only one, right? That's like, that reads these titles and it's like. Well, oh, no. We're going to do this right now. We're going to do this right now. Hell, fuck, fuck, no. Fuck, no. All right. Which one? Why are we talking about titles? Uh, yeah, I'll pull them all. Oh, we talking about titles? I know. Wait, oh no, no! Before we even get to Kelsey Plum and all that bullshit, we about to finish this title shit. We ain't played no games. Which one, my nigga? I'm about to say, which one? Which one? No Diddy, spelled correctly. Underrated movie villains, comma you forgot. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, this is going. Apple Electric Car Project cancels. What? See, it's what? Not cancels. It's canceled. Wait, what did what did he say? Apple Electric Car Project cancels. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Keep going, keep going. I'm about to fucking ice your ass. All right, keep going. Which one's else? else? Come on, hey, go for it. Shoot. Come uh, on, shoot. 
Meek Mill folding to handle the pressure of the Diddy allegations. I'll keep you that one. That just doesn't sound great. And you know why I didn't fix it? Because it, because everyone keeps clicking it. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Now I'll give you two. For, you one for three. Streaming services war. What? what so, do streaming I need to put service a, wars. You don't know why. You don't know why I'm doing some of that. Are you ready? So we can move on to the next topic because I found a new little trick that I figured out where it boosts like SEO and everything else. When you look at some of these other titles, they're exactly the same way I'm doing it because when you type in a title and I'm about to peak right. game. Here's like an, is Dutch bros undervalued space question mark. Okay. Instead of just okay. having the question I'm, mark where it should be. Fuck <laughs> off. So <laughs> anywho, for people who are watching, sometimes to get really good title ideas, you type in the, the keywords and then you put them into YouTube and YouTube has this little side thing called shorts and you see other people who have similar fucking titles that have views and they say the exact same thing. So fuck off. <laughs> you keep digging. You keep digging. Yeah. All right. A comma and an S. Valid Victorian, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a comma and an S. A comma and an S. You got me with the Meek Mill one. I give you that one. I didn't change the title because it's still getting views. Real. Real. But anywho, go ahead, my friend. Where were we at? Oh, yes. Titles. So, I don't know if you all saw... Las Vegas Aces star Kelsey Plum and her was it already ex husband soon to be ex husband they yeah they filed Darren Waller soon to be yeah. uh, soon to be rather uh, Darren Waller NFL wide receiver now recently filed for divorce no speculation that it may have been something on his end she left a very cryptic message that I saw on Twitter originally I know she I believe she also may have posted on her Instagram as well. Uh, it alluded to something to the effect of, as most people do when they break, break up, you know, everything I've done for this person. I can't believe all the trauma that I've been through. Thank you to my family and friends who supported me through this process. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There's going to be a new transition. There we go. Uh, one, what's your response to seeing the news? Secondly, do you feel like right now we're in a state in society where we put celebrity couples on too much of a pedestal? first part of that question was how do I feel about it? Yep. Um, I believe you said this before the we kicked off filming, but I do not care enough for, for either people to care <laughs> necessarily about this. Yeah. So uh, I am ripping that a little bit from you. Uh, and then two, do we put celebrity couples on a pedestal? Yeah, absolutely. Because um, it's more interesting at the end of the day when you know the individual person, when Ariana Grande was dating that realtor, no one cared. And they actually just divorced, funny enough. Um, and he took like, Facts. he took a couple million off her too. Um, so let's, let's go. Yeah, Save let's, boys. boys keep winning. Um, there was speculation they were going to divorce for a while, I remember, because Darren Waller did that crazy TikTok. And they were like, CT ESPN. <laughs> uh, that sounds funny. I want to see it now. Yeah, he did some crazy TikTok pretty much doing a voiceover for a song. Telling like, fuck off, bitch, or some shit like that. People were like alluding if wow. it was like, uh, like a sneak diss to Kelsey Plum. And she was on vacation by herself, too, at the same time. Uh, so there was like rumblings already. And she and then she like deleted him off her Instagram. Um uh, and then deleting it's deleting your husband off your Instagram is crazy, right? And then now it's official. Um, um, I'll yeah. I'll go on this. I'll say on this side. I just want to say I also don't care enough, but with great power comes great responsibility. I think if you're a person who seeks fame or if you're doing sports. It just comes with the territory where, like, if you're posting in public, you've got to have the responsibility to know that certain people are also looking up to your lifestyle, how it is, at least in the public. And I'm not trying to say you have to act like a first lady or act like the president or anything like that manner, but you just have to be mindful of, of how you are carrying yourself because people are, because people get off to that. And I think in this day and age, you you have to just be more aware of that. And I, th I think 
if we take that great power and great great power comes with great responsibility mindset when it comes to our relationships where at least for me I have a hint of privacy with my own where I think it's important but also I'm not going to be shunning like oh I don't have anyone and I think that's <coughs> what needs to be discussed at least on the first point but at least I don't know I'll just even go there with you guys I hate on social media that I have to say give me space give me time I'm out with this person like did I ask for that? You know? I think kind of is necessary, though, just because of the space we're in. Like, I don't know. Let's just say she doesn't announce anything, and TMZ, for whatever reason, doesn't pick up the news that they file for divorce. And then five months from now, we see her on a date. So? That- now I'm then going gonna, gonna to have to deal with the questions anyways. So, like, all right, well, I, I work in PR. Okay. With anything, you want to get ahead of the story so that way you're telling it as opposed to being reactionary. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I'd rather deal with that now than opening week of the NBA WNBA season instead of getting asked about the game, my performance, a reporter's coming. So, I see you shot four for 13 today. Is that – does anything uh, with that have to do with your recent divorce from <laughs> – I ain't shooting for four thirteen. You know, I'm out here seven for twelve. You know, what I'm saying I don't miss. Should give KD some pointers. Anywho, um, who so, does Kelsey Plum date now? Uh, the I, trade rumor mill. <laughs> Paige Buckers. Oh, you think she switches sides? No. <laughs> 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 My guess is Pete Davidson. Oh, uh, mm, he is. Come pick, on. pick up my all five. Come on, that would just be too good. Yeah, Come I, I Loki can see it. Come They're on, they're both quirky enough. Like he hasn't dated an athlete, dated every other type of female celebrity. He has dated an athlete. Who? Who? Kim Kardashian. She an athlete. She's an athlete. She's a what? Just do it. She's a lawyer. Relax. And a lawyer. That was crazy. She's an athlete. <laughs> she be, boy, she be her four four flat quick. Loki, like, should stars be considered athletes? If you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah. The no. things they're doing, the things that they are doing, are very athletic. It's not a sport. It is. It is, is, a tra- sport. is track a sport? Yes. Yeah. What? What? There's, there's competition. And you told me there isn't a competition there. There's not, competition. Not like an underlying competition, no. Did, There's awards. Is acting all right, a competition? Hold on, hold on. Is wrestling a competition? No. It's a show. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, okay. So they're entertainers? They're entertainers. Oh, okay. Like actors. Okay. So actors, ra- actors have to be athletic and fit in some roles. So say you didn't watch Mia Khalifa. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was it? Say I didn't watch her? Hey, man. I did. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to do? What? <laughs> Which 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 arena? When she was with Gil, or when she was uh, on the hub with Johnny Sins? <laughs> I don't know where this is going now. I'm uh, 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 her sports takes are really bad, though. They are atrocious. <laughs> uh, very bad. Do we care? <laughs> Do we care? Yeah, she got Honestly, some- they're slightly better than Gil's, <laughs> and I I hate to say that. The sweater cows. Anyway. Gil is so disappointing. The one point I do want you want to bring it back to just pushback. The new wave of media has gotten us to this place of I have to do all these different things. That's where, you know, you end up talking to your therapist about depression. You're talking to your therapist about anxiety where no one fucking cares that much. No one should care that much where obviously don't get me wrong. If you're newly in love and happy do post that stuff, but it's almost at the same time. Nobody should really fucking care that much. You, you should move. Like, I get what you're saying. Yeah, get ahead of the story. Do all those things. But can you be the person to be like, I don't want to talk about that. I just shot poorly because I fucked up. That's my personal business. Mm-hmm. Ask Ben Simmons how that worked for him. Ben Simmons is his own case study. That, actually, that young black man trying to grow and be different. We're using Blackberry loosely these days, <laughs> and that and that coming from ben, me is correct. Ben Simmons was using BetterHelp. Okay, BetterHelp is not a good place. I mean, um, 
Hey, you know, you, say it, say it. You t- go to psychology.com for your therapy. Anywho, all I'm saying, or Chicago, uh, psychology today. Anywho, all I'm saying is this mental health epidemic comes from main character syndrome. People always thinking, like, don't get me wrong, Kelsey Plum, athlete, uh, Darren Wall, athlete. I got get the semantics, but when you're that knee deep in it, and you need that time. I'm, I'm not going to <clears> post <throat> and tell. Like, obviously, I would tell you guys if I was going through some stuff, but I'm not going to put that on my Instagram. I'm not saying I'm trying to hide. Like, I, I post when I when I suck at basketball. I, I post when I'm doing well. But at the same time, it's about can I handle that? And I feel like just because you want to get ahead of the story shouldn't take in case the point of you being a human. Mm-hmm. I get that. Uh, and at this moment... We're going to take a commercial break. Hey, we're going. Oh, Look cool. at that. Wow. Well, welcome back to the podcast critics. Yeah. Uh, if you like critics or movies, you enjoy TV shows or bad movies, horrible movies or great movies. Who knows? Maybe you'll find that next hidden gem movie that you and your family can watch this Christmas from kids to adults, from teenagers to grannies to my dog. To your goldfish. From my insurance agent to your mom. Check us out. Baxi Critics. Every Thursday, new episode. Thank you, Critics, for uh, another wonderful sponsor, uh, Reed. So, uh, speaking of things falling apart, (laughs) um, relationships diverging, uh, Biden passed a law. Was it today or yesterday? I think today. Um, He signed it today. He signed it today. Uh, that essentially puts the TikTok, you know, I'm, I'm summarizing the TikTok ban into law. Uh, so TikTok has nine months to either sell or disband, not disband, but essentially become disallowed in the U.S. Same way, you know, China bans YouTube and Facebook and and um, applications over on that side. It would no longer be allowed or available um, here in the U.S., I don't know. This is giving me, this is giving me a little U.S. is collapsing type of vibe. <laughs> the West, the West, the civilization is collapsing. All uh, oligarchies are taking over. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. I don't know. No more free markets. Yet I still have to pay my taxes. This is where this is the vibe I'm getting from this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not rocking with this at all. Like the impact that TikTok's had on the culture is just you can't the price on that like <laughs> no i'm serious like the ceiling challenge i mean that was up there with like martin luther king jr's <sighs> i have a dream speech what what did you just fucking say dumb what? oh my god really did you see ari's video <laughs> no 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 you're horny <laughs> you're <laughs> you zoom in on him when well, you say you that zoom in on me while i say that <laughs> <laughs> because you're the since, since you've been on, no. that should be put in the African American Museum in Washington D.C. But could you pull that up for me? Oh, yeah, actually, Thank uh, you. got my favorite real quick. Okay. Hold on. Um, <laughs> I want to no, but no, but seriously, though, <laughs> TikTok is extremely helpful as an information source. Like honestly, I think I told you guys this before. When I need to look up something, whether it be a restaurant I want to go to, you know, sightseeing spots or just any type of activity, that's my go-to now. I like Google, it still has a purpose, but I'm a visual type of person. So if I can like see food, if I can see, you know, what the aesthetics is of a particular place I'm inter- interested in going to, I'll, I'd much rather take a video where I can see a live human's interaction with a particular activity or, you know, whatever have you, as opposed to seeing some Yelp review that could have been just some type of paid review from <laughs> the company or possibly, you know, some of their staff just writing some BS, just uh, bump up their mm-hmm. uh, Google, Google scores. So, you know, it's going to be missed. Uh, I don't love the bill. I think it's unfair because now anything will be able to just get banned if the government doesn't like it yeah, or man. it's a, you know, it's a foreign source, a foreign app. Um, I don't use TikTok. I, I deleted it actually a couple years ago because I was, I was ad- morbidly addicted to it, uh, like very bad. So I had to delete it. 
And I've been on Instagram Reels, and this is just going to prove that Instagram Reels are the best now. Oh. Instagram Reels are going to be elite uh, because everyone from TikTok talk will just flood to Instagram Reels. No uh, more, we won't have t- no more TikTok influencers, which is a good thing. <laughs> um, hey, I'm trying to be. The only thing I don't, I have a, a issue with with Instagram Reels, the search engine. It does suck. So it sucks. You can't look up anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is, and it'll get better. It'll force. It'll be forced to get better. Maybe. Uh, Mine's coming back. But I was, that's another reason why I also like it because it's not as addictive. TikTok is stupid addictive. I have to give them that. Vine's not never coming back. And you know what? It shouldn't come back because Vine is nowhere as good. I was an OG Vine user, and I can tell you TikTok is 10 times better. You're an OG Vine user? Yeah, from like ninth grade in high school. I was, yeah, I was going to say you had to be like I was literally ninth, ninth grade study hall. That's, that's all I was doing. Ninth, 10th grade study hall. I was just ripping Vines. Were you, were you making Vines at all? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I was. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Like look, Jake Paul's like our age, we could be famous. Yeah. Aww. I'm I just imagine yeah. Kyle's like doing doing that crank that Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of a tic- of a vine I made. <laughs> oh my goodness! The crank that Chronicles, y'all. It's gonna go over y'all head, but I was in high school, and when the crank that came out, y'all remember Goosebumps? Yeah. So y'all remember the uh, Goosebumps of Carly Beth? We had to put in the mask. We did like mm. the crank that Carly Beth. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's only funny to us, but like crank that Carly Beth. Shout out to my Jefferson squadron. We cranked that Carly Beth. It was it was it was lit. But anyway. Oh, I just went over this. I know. Yeah. I know. It's, it's like you when did you graduate you high school? Two thousand nine? You ever heard of Goosebumps? With the Travis Scott song? Damn, bro, you graduated in 09? No. How was that? 10? <laughs> Maybe. 10, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, like, Damn. so like, no Vine. <laughs> yeah. No Vine. No. 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 What did you have, Facebook? Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. Facebook, yeah. My, was was my, Harlem my, Shake around at that my, point? MySpace. Is, no. No, it wasn't. That was like 20 well, no, the OG Harlem Shake, yeah. Oh, the OG Harlem <laughs> Shake. Not the, not the trend. Yeah. That was like 2013, 2014? 2013, my senior year. Yeah, okay. Why? That's my freshman Actually, year. Yeah, I don't yeah. mind this. Yeah, yeah. There's other. I feel like I grew up in the best era. So yeah, you maybe were, you were. Hold on, you were literally in high school during the most recent depression we've had. The recession, actually. The recession, right? Yeah. So it's not a great era. I had a great childhood. You get to you get to experience nine eleven more. Yeah. How old were you like in fourth grade, fifth grade? I can't remember. That's actually I, I'm like no troll shit. I'm just like two thousand one. So were you ten years old? So that's great. Like that. So that's great. I remember. I I, I did ask. Remember, they stopped everything. Even even where we're at, they're like, "Hey, this just happened," and we're just kind of like, "Okay, damn." No, uh, not no. a bad way. We just couldn't comprehend. Mm-hmm. No, nah, you had to be younger than that. He's maybe in third grade. I'm thinking about it because there's what, no. There's what no, year no, are you? Ninety one. Maybe. Ninety one. So he's ten years old. Yeah. Damn, you were that much older than me. Yes. I don't know why, bro. Like, cause I, like I told you, we went to elementary school together, but like, I don't know why I thought, like, because remember, Fabi used to only go up to fifth grade, so it's crazy. I was just, I, I was a great senior. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh no, I, I was a leader, Fabi. Nice. I knew, I knew who to trust the younger generation to. Did you have a beard back then too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes I will say he, he was I, when I would say tell me like cool kids. He was a cool kid. He was a cool kid. He was yeah, a cool kid. Was. Cool Kickball, cat. like basketball. big basketball bro, games. Bro, when the last time Ta- tables with the shits. Bro, when the last time you played wall ball, bro. Oh, it's been like ten years at least, bro. bro. I actually want you know what? I might organize a field day this summer. I would. I'll pull up. He where Ross, he Peninsula Park. Uh, you can do that peninsula. Uh, Irv is bigger. Irv of that too. Yeah. He, oh, Irv, yeah. He's a top top five Portland plan here. Oh, God, please plan five. a field day. I will show. Uh, yeah. I have. I'll bring the white boys, a, the Asian boys from the West Side. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going to a, the West Side. A tape party that hasn't. They're gonna ask me, "Is it okay to come there?" And yeah. I was like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> but back to TikTok. TikTok. 
I would just say, as someone who just got onto the app, trying to put most of our content, or I'm starting to see the the healthiness of TikTok, and at least you can make anything viral. Exactly, I would say some of the things I'm starting to save a little bit more are the things to like help. Where I'm like, all right, I've heard like misinformation of like, oh, how do I make my bananas last longer? How do I do this? And I'm seeing a person do that. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna add that. So like, I do. F- feel bad that that's going to go away for a lot of people. But mm-hmm. I also want to play a bit of devil advocate a little bit too as well, where what if this is, you know, China's or, you know, their way of having a warfare without, you know, dropping weapons and things like that. 100%. I mean, this TikTok is, is able to essentially scan other apps you use and that's how yeah. it's able to create that algorithm for you. So it's, it's a spyware app in a way. So, but like what app is and also, yeah. Other apps do that too that are like they US cook, based. They collect cookies. It's you know, just, look, yeah, exactly. I look, I look up some stuff for like some Gucci sl- slides or something. Yeah. Go on Instagram, all of a sudden, my third advertisement. Oh, Gucci. exactly. You have the UTM parameters on. So, like, that's how they get gain your information based off of a tracking script. And then it's just the fact that the US government can't control. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just, uh, bring both to you. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say, too, as well, a part that um, just bringing up is, if I'm being honest, I don't want to get super political or anything like of that manner, okay. but it's just, we can find a way to, you know, ban TikTok, even though it might be a national security, and I get both sides, but damn, them student loans I got is sitting Right there. That's never going to get forgiven. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm. It's just fine. And I don't want to be super whatever, but I find it very interesting. You know, I know we have to help our foreign allies and everything else. I'm about to do the Israel Palestine, Palestine <laughs> stuff. So stay away from it. Exactly. But I find that we're finding money. The money they say that we don't have. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. And it's just very interesting. No, it's also very interesting to me. What? When's the last time you heard that you've heard Diddy's name brought up? Mm. Mm. You saying like that slipped under the rug? I'm not saying it's under the limelight anymore. Mm. Maybe he's innocent. <laughs> Stop. And Bill Cosby, and then Bill Cosby wasn't an asshole to me. I love that you just brought that Bill up. Bill Cosby was an asshole to you. That yeah. that's like an old school rock like story. Childhood <laughs> trauma that you. No, I. I told story. my I told my friends and I'll I'll tell you a longer story off camera. Yeah. Well, long story short, I went up to Bill Cosby because my brother went to Temple University because he was tenured there. Not tenured, but uh, what do you call a person who's honorary honorary doctor? Something like that. He was on the board too, so he spoke. I went up to Bill Cosby. A kid was before me, a little girl, and he was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa pudding pop shit!" And I was like, "Oh, this is the Bill Cosby I see." When I get up there, I'm like, hey, Bill Cosby. And he's like, shut up, you bitch-ass kid. And, and, I, <laughs> and, and literally, literally, I'm in shock like this. Bro, how, how old are you? I was like 12. Damn. I was like 11, 12. Damn. That's crazy. And it was, um, and it was like, <laughs> I want y'all to think of. Oh, shit. Think of a movie where there was like. A character, and before the great betrayal, you didn't see it coming. Yeah. That's what happened. You're just like, what the fuck? I got <laughs> Spartan kicked in my chest. And then my mom tried to fight him because my mom's like, why are you upset? And you know how black moms are. She's like, I'm going to give you something, something to cry about. Yeah. And I was like, Bill Cosby told me to shut the fuck up. So when he was on national TV, my mom, my, my dad, and my uh, family were trying to stop my mom from... Going to cuss him out on TV while he's talking. You're just a person. I know because you can't because you can't quantify blackness. Exactly, I understand, but I'm just saying for how or it's it's very prevalent in dating where if I've talked to a person about or they're looking for a certain type of black man, it's the stereotypical epitaph of that. So that's why I was just saying that just to kind of help raise yeah. your thoughts of why yeah. I yeah created not, that. not not get that not saying I know like blackness is but that's the division that we deal with. But, but that's you know, how you feel. But you know, no. what's, you know what some of the no, cra- crazy, you know what some of the craziness no. with that though. Like you may hear people say, you know, I don't want to date a guy who watches anime. That's not no black <laughs> shit. Most niggas grew up watching Dragon Ball Z, and you're lying if you didn't. Thank you. And as a person who 
where when you don't look at me, I don't have a lot of tats. I don't have all these things like that. I actually ran into a lot of that of white women or other people being like, oh, you're not that black. And I'm like, okay. And I've ran into other black women. I'm saying y'all ain't treating me right. Being like, I had to be that stereo stereotype of dude. So, and I don't know. I think for me, I found myself proving myself a lot where oh. people thought they could just be like, oh, fuck with me. So you was basically like B-Rad from Malibu's Most Wanted? Who the fuck is that? Oh, you ain't never seen Malibu's Most Wanted? Oh, that, that, that movie. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking with you. But shit like that. Where, where... I could do the taxes for the West, yeah. but I couldn't hoop for with the West. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying. But no, honestly, do I think uh, what you're saying? Cause I know you're going, uh, do I, blackness is not just one thing. It's just very sad sometimes because we put it in so many different sections. That's why sometimes I think my brother said this on the show before where I guess I'm like tired of like black ex- excellence. Like there can just be black normalcy. Like you're just, it's okay just to be cool at this thing. So, I don't know. Fuck. Bill Cosby brings this out of me. I don't know how. But finishing up on TikTok, really quick, do y'all think that TikTok is um really going to get sold? No. I think they're going to tell America to go stick it where the sun don't shine. Yes. Uh, my only thing I'll say is now without the U.S. market and then India banned TikTok three, four years ago. Oh, they did? Yeah. Swear. I mean, so two of the highest population, geographical populations in the world. So now they'll they still have China. Yeah, I don't Africa. know what Chinese TikToks like. Africa, Europe. Cause are you saying this with insider information? What? All this. I cannot dilute it. Oh, okay. I'll just I'll just ask you. Are you uh, a spy? I all I'm gonna say is, I find it hard to believe they can they can survive off the Chinese market because the Chinese market is massive and it'll just become a Chinese app like. Like fu- fully a Chinese app, like Timu, like Timu, or more like a WeChat. Ooh, ooh, Timu, shop like a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Cancelled. Uh, my sister uses Timu. I'm like, you're just throwing your future away. <laughs> uh, but what is Timu? It's like ch- Chinese Amazon. Ah, uh, I think it's I, like I've thir- seen it. I've seen it before, but I've never. For actually, like thirty dollars, you could get like little Chinese kids to make you like anything. Oh, oh, I'm so glad the camera like, wasn't on. <laughs> like you, literally, there are these jokes of like, oh, new team employee going to work, and it's like a baby with a backpack on. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh, crazy. I don't think they'll. I don't. I think they'll be too expensive to sell mm. just to stay in the U.S. But it will hurt. It will hurt TikTok for them not to be here. Yeah. Uh, I say I say it's um fifty fifty. I at least for at least for me, I'm still gonna be on my TikTok until they, yeah. you know, till the wheels fall off. Till will fall wheels fall off because who knows might go my minorly vi- viral. Kick them to the YouTube page and everything else. What if you caught a oh forgive me, you caught a viral video two days before the ban went into effect? Damn, that would be fucking crazy. I would say at least. The social media grind has been the most hardest on TikTok, where I'm just like, I'm doing all these things these people are saying, and I'm still, my videos are in the two fucking hundreds, and it bugs the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, you know, I still say, I don't end with this at least, I've learned a lot just from kicking from other people's TikToks and things of that matter. TikTok yeah. is such a visual, like, easy to find things if you're looking for it. Yeah. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. Um, awesome. Last topic, let's wrap it up. NBA? Yep, let's that works. Yeah. So, switching to an NBA podcast for anyone listening. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Bang! 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 Mama! There goes that man. <laughs> All right, do we want to start with East or West? Uh, what are we doing first? Can we set it up? Sorry, okay, we're going to do first round predictions uh, for transparency. Has every game had two games now? Have every mm, series? Yeah. Yes. Right now, right now the Pelicans sec- are playing. Pel- the- Pelicans are okay, see. That's we're, like the as last we're, game two, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah as, yeah, we're, we are, as, we as we're we already know who's going to As we're recording this, yeah. So we know what the first two games are, are. so it's not like a start from zero prediction. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, we're just going to predict the first round. We'll see if we want to go deeper. I don't know. We can start with the East. We got um, Pounce wants to come on for the finals. Okay, that works. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You uh, actually want to do a watch party? I... Yes. We're, can we do yes. a can we do a Celtics Knicks watch party? I w- I w- that would be great. That would content. be really great content at at the Garden. 
At the garden? Like when they play at the garden. The real garden. Oh, not which the, garden? Not the TD garden. Uh, not TD. Uh, it's about the one with no banners. The one that actually kept its name. Uh, this Ooh. is the one with no banners. The one that didn't sell it to a sponsor. Uh. The one with no banners. Damn. The OG garden. That looks like shit, yes. Looks like shit. It's still the best the arena f- in the NBA. Are you crazy? It's, it's the greatest arena. This is most outdated. The arena in the world, actually. D- are you smoking I've been, crack? He's a hardcore. You're a smoking fan. crack. Um, I've been there. It's the best arena in the world. How many arenas have you been to? A lot. In Europe, in America. That it's outdated best. shit with those hard ass. I'll be honest, the outside looks like shit, yeah. But the inside, the inside looks like shit too. No, the inside looks good. The inside's still solid. Have you went? It needs a little touch up. That's all. Now, when you say arena, I don't know how we're getting on this, but when you say you arena, that's the original garden. You throw, you tore it down for for TD. And you've been on the water, and that been, thing looks like a communist and, block. And, and you went to you you've been to <laughs> cha- on the Coswold, right? That's what it's called. You've been to the chase. You've been to Chase Arena. Chase Arena. Yeah. Oh, and uh, in San Francisco. Yes. No, I haven't. I don't go to San Francisco. Oh, okay. You should check it out. Why? It's pretty damn nice. That the bomber, I, the, the Clippers, and arena. that's going to that wash arena. that shit out the water. That Clippers one is going to be good. That one is going to be good. Be good. That that's bomber. probably going to be the best arena, NBA arena. Bomber, he don't play. He be in that chair like that, like that, like that. Okay, let's start in the east. Let's start. Okay. All right, we can start up top. Uh, right now, as we're recording this, myself took an L. So the series with Miami is tied one one. What with no Butler? Hey man, they're a pesky team. I knew this was gonna go at least five. Just Damn, but, at least five. That's crazy. Damn, yeah. bro. And y'all had everybody healthy. That's crazy. Yeah, I know Spo's good for at least a game. His co- are we going playoff Spo versus playoff Joe? Yeah, he. There's yeah. no comparison as far as coaching goes. So you're saying Spo's the best coach in the NBA okay, to me? Like yeah, that's okay. like okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. I also am gonna take um, Tay's take. Now that I didn't expect it for them to lose, I thought it was gonna be a nice little clean sweep because of what Derek White and everyone else has been doing. I'm gonna say five games as well. I'll say six. That's it. I think Miami gets one at home, and then that's it. Mm. I think. Yeah, I got four two. Us. Four two. Yep. I'm gonna take it in five. I got. I'm a real Celtics fan. So, um, I make, believe. Make it what? All right. Uh, the series, everyone's saying the one that no one's watching. The Cavs. Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> What's that song? Go Orlando. No. Uh, go Magic. Go Magic. Go. Uh, go Magic. Go Magic. Go. I had the Magic winning the series uh, in six. Ew. Uh, they're down 2 0, so it's not looking good, I'll be honest. I'm not going to lie, bro. Jalen Suggs, Cole Anthony. They suck. Markel. <laughs> y'all are shooting tour dates. I need somebody to give Paolo Ben Carroll some help. Okay, so I have me and my other buddy, both lifelong Blazer fans, that are. we have this trade idea we've been throwing the ra- last two weeks. It's, we're probably the only people on earth who think this is, this is a reality. If Magic gets swept. Yep. They gotta make they gotta make a move for a guard. They need a guard. Paulo's too good to not pair him up with a guard, and they need shooting. Uh, we do a cheeky little Anthony Simons for Franz Wa- Wagner trade. Drugs. <laughs> we do a cheeky Anthony Simons for Franz Wagner trade. Throw picks in there. I don't know. Get, get the deal done, and and I think both teams come out winners. Blazers get the wing that can ball handle that they've needed for. 20 years. <laughs> they get a white wing. And then Orlando gets a 24 point game score, 40% three point shooter that they've also needed since Dwight Howard left. Yep. But it will never happen. A few issues with that. So, one, Orlando theoretically will have Paolo's rights for at least another five years before they have, before they have to actually worry about doing something. Yeah. yeah. And they'll have plenty of cap space this summer mm-hmm. to either sign, like throw, let's just say, uh, Clay Thompson or Paul George a blank check. I come into Portland. No, 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 no. no, no. I'm he's talking about Orlando. Orlando Magic. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's just burning money on like old talent that like washed up talent. Oh, it'd be burning money on young talent that isn't going anywhere. Anthony's on a good contract. Anthony's on a great contract, actually. Yeah. They could get Anthony. And still have cap. I think he's for to get a clay. I think he's about as good as he is. He's going to be. I think he's pretty close. I think he's, he's close. I, I he's think he's pretty close. But his ceiling's 
still a twenty five and seven assist guy. But your pro- my problem is I'm not in. I'm a Duke fan. I'm not all the way sold that because there's only to me only about usually five or six guys in the league that can actually legitimately say this. I'm not sure if Paolo is for sure for sure a one on a team that can win it all. Mm. And, but I know for a fact Ant isn't a two. Ant might not be a two. Paolo might not be a one. But they don't have to win next year. Paolo's oh. 22. Anthony is 24. I don't know, bro. I just it, like making that move just feels like some very like Blazers type shit. Like this will get us <laughs> to be good enough to be getting the playoffs. But no, no, no. We're gonna, I, we're, no, gonna, is, we're, we're gonna we're gonna be trading, money. We're trading for a younger player. Franz is twenty two. Sorry, Paolo's twenty one. Franz is twenty two. Yeah. So we're getting younger. We're getting a wing. No, you are that that makes sense for the Blazers. Yeah, because you said this is a very Blazers trade. type trade. Yeah, we're gonna make a move that's gonna oh. make sure that we at least make the playoffs for five years, but mm-hmm. it's gonna put a cap on as far as like us legitimately having a shot to win. You're saying that from the Blazers' perspective? No, from the Orlando Magic's perspective. Oh, I see, I see. Um, you think Franz, like even you think Franz takes them farther than Anthony Simons? I think ha- Franz on that roster does. Yes, Franz on that roster. I'm not sold on that. I don't think him and Paulo together is the the best combination. I don't think Franz is a number two option on a winning team. I don't, but he also is isn't gonna have the ball in his hands the way Anthony will. Yeah, but you'd rather have Anthony. Okay, this is good. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. You. This is just back and forth. Sorry. Yeah, 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 this yeah. Is just oh, no, forth. you're fine. I had to check them in. Check them in okay, okay. All right. Anyways, I, got, uh, I, got, I, I still got the Magic. I got Cleveland, I got Cleveland in six. Uh, magic? Magic in seven, I'll say. No. <laughs> That's what you uh, Cavs in five. Or if they, I don't know, Cavs, Cavs in five. I'll, I'll give Orlando okay, one Cavs year. Cavs in four so they can get Anthony. <laughs> yeah, Cavs in five. Cavs in five. All right, Bucks Pacers. Weird Ooh, series. Weird series. That's seven games. Indiana in six. Book it. Bucks and seven. I'm going to say Bucks and seven. I'm going to say play. When I run my victory lap, I want all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrese, Tyrese is not the same since since the hamstring. He's yeah. not. He's he, not. He, he, he got I, fraud checked. Uh, no, no, no. I still think he's hurt. I'm going to be honest. I still think yeah. he's hurt too, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, I, it's actually awful to watch because he's really good. And it's, yeah. he's playing really good. That's bad. why I'm very baffled that he's doing uh, even – uh, Sorry, go ahead. Team USA. Yeah, yeah. He he's should do team. USA. I feel like he's gonna end up withdrawing. Yeah. Honestly, so, yeah. but it's like it's weird because you almost need to go just for your brand purposes. And Nike has a very strong influence on who makes that roster. Really? 100%. Yeah. A hundred percent. Like it's it's very if as a Adidas guy or any other brand, if you wear any other brand, it's very you have to be like. An undeniable talent. If it's any type of like debate, more times than Unless not, you're like Ann Edwards. You know? Yeah, something like undeniable t- talent. Like otherwise, more times than not, they are going to lean Nike. So that's why Lillard's not on that. Lillard didn't make. Well, it. Lillard wasn't going to be on that regardless. So. Oh, this is a clip. Anyhow. Okay. Uh. Yeah. It's somebody asked. You, somebody here's asked, more important. Somebody. Think, somebody has to play defense. Do you think Giannis comes back in this series? Yes. I, Game six I, and game seven. I, I really hope not. I think he'll come back in a game seven. Game six or and seven. I, yeah. Uh, from what I saw reports, they're saying he still can't run. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, but yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know. He's doing stationary spot shooting, but he hasn't ran or jogged Ooh, yet. Okay, I'm going to say seven now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't have that report. Uh, and they play game three when? Tomorrow? Uh, I think or, so. Or Friday? Uh... Might be tomorrow. Friday. Friday. They play, right. yeah, Friday. Uh, and the next series, another guy who should skip out on Team USA, uh, Joel Embiid with uh, Nick Sixers. That guy can't Sh- Shouldn't be on Team USA to begin with. Shouldn't. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Judas. Cheated on France. Uh, but anyways, Nick Sixers. Really good series. Really good series. Really good series. It's tough watching Joel out there. He's looking like prime Greg Oden uh, with his movement. Uh, uh, I, I have... I, got six I have Knicks in five. I wouldn't call that a good series. I'm not going to lie to you. Why not? This is Both great. games have been tough, good. Just because it's tough doesn't mean it's good basketball. Mm. Last lot. game was an amazing finish. Come yeah. on. Yeah, cause a whole lot of missed shot, shots and motherfuckers swinging the ball. <laughs> it's gorgeous. People getting yeah. slapped in the face. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I would say, um, depending upon mm. Embiid's health, I say Sixers and Drugs. You no, think Sixers? Sixers? No, no, Knicks and six. But if Embiid can 
You're not you're not gonna get healthier playing on on the. I'm saying if you can recover. get a Wakandan leg, I got the six. He can't even six. blink his left I mean eye. Seven. All right, I'm real with you, and Kai got a close up for this. <clears throat> so, I've said this for about five years now. That man, outside of the one COVID year where the world got shut down, he will never play a game after May fifteenth until he decides to play like a man. The Sixers will never go anywhere. He is literally the only MVP in NBA history to not play a single game in the conference finals series. He's a coward. He gets all <laughs> this damn praise for being a modernized version of Hakeem. The only issue I have with talk to the, people. the only issue I have, no, I mean, we have a conversation too, but the people can hear me as well. Uh, he gets all this praise for being a modernized version of Hakeem. But the thing is, Hakeem, when he needed a bucket, went to that block. And use his damn size. It, you know, I don't understand how someone that's seven foot one and roughly, let's just say 285 pounds, he's listed that. I know he weighs more eating all yeah. that, eating all that damn candy. I, I have had too many series where he's been guarded by, let's just say Marcus Smart. That means you at least have seven inches and almost 100 pounds on him. No, Diddy. Wow. You just always have to. No, y'all have to. That's neither here nor there. So, my words of advice to you, Mr. Embiid, lay off the sweets, lose some damn weight this summer, and get some heart. And maybe, just maybe, or sign with the Celtics. Demand a uh, trade. Oh, here we go. Trade. Here we go. Trade. I play with the Celtics. He's Well, I mean, his father His father plays for the Celtics, so maybe he could. What? Yeah, Al Horford. <laughs> I think he's just there. Tito. Belt ass. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about this. But Knicks, Knicks and sits. Knicks and sits. If, if, okay. if, if Jalen Brunson stops shooting tour dates, it could be Knicks and five. He'll get better. We hope. We hope. Off to the west. <laughs> Off to the, to the west. To the witty, witty, witty west. Uh, the, team, uh, the game being, being played right now, Thunder Pelicans. Surprisingly better series, or at least better game one than most people expected. Either way, though, I think Thunder... I'm, I'm gonna stay up right now. Thunder and six. Thunder are up. Uh, what is that? Sixteen right now. Thunder and Ooh. six. I think Thunder and four. I, I got Thunder and five. I'm gonna say New Orleans still is one. No, all. no Zion. I think it's a sweep. Yeah. I thought Zion was back for this game. Nah, no, he's not, shut down for I the think, year. Probably. I, I think he's, probably, he's down for the year. Yeah. He's probably gonna shut down for the year. Because uh, it's a soft tissue injury, so like you can't like really tell. Like same with like Halliburton's. My bad. See, I I'm assuming that these people are coming back late. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now knowing that, yeah, I'm gonna go, yeah, yeah, I would say five, five, five as well. Damn, you see that shy chat ad? Player wants, oh, uh, yeah, what a player needs. I didn't see that. that was good. That was good. Oh, really quick, I found this funny thing where this guy on, on Instagram Reels, there was like a bet, right? Where he got the Chiefs winning. Who won, who won the Super or the World Series last year? Uh, Rangers. Yeah, he had the Rangers Chiefs, and then he has the Thunder winning, <coughs> and his bet out Jesus is like Christ. fifty G's. And my What's his wager now? What do you bet? Bet like twenty, thirty dollars, something yeah, like whatever. Okay. So the crazy thing about it is, he has the Thunder winning the championship, and the person's like, either he's a time traveler and he knows something that we don't. Take the well, fucking money. Uh, yeah, I'll take it out. Oh, now. he could pull it. Yeah, yeah, he could yeah, pull he it could out. Yeah, pull it right out. Now. He's it. He's it. Yeah. I will pull that out. I yeah, like, teams that young don't win yeah. typically. But if I'm a Thunder, generational hater though, so I, I hope he keeps win, it and loses it. <laughs> if the Thunder do win, wow, that's crazy. I'm following that guy's page forever. He's a time traveler. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, what's in the series? Next series, uh, probably the I think going to be the series of the first round. Uh, Clippers, Clippers, Mavs. Clippers, Mavs. Clippers, Mavs. Clippers, Mavs. See, it's Clips. it's hard for me to predict that because. Ooh. Luca, whenever he sees that Los Angeles on the other side, yeah, goes into Super Saiyan mode. Uh, didn't have a great shooting performance in yesterday. Game one. No, even yesterday, he didn't shoot great yesterday. But I swear to you, every time I saw or I seen him shoot the ball, it felt like he was hitting shots. But when I looked mm-hmm. at his box score, I was like, damn, he shot that bad. Yeah, but his impact on the game was very oh, loud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When the Clippers locked down versus when the Mavs locked down, to me, it's totally different. Where you got to give Ty Lue, in my opinion, he's a top three coach in the NBA when it comes to the things. And I trust 
the Clippers reserves more than the Mass reserves to lock down, and especially hmm. lock down just on defense or lock or lock in lock as far as the game, game, game plan, plan. Where I don't I trust don't a PJ Washington Jr. I'll trust a Russell Westbrook, a Norman Powell. I'll trust those people to follow the game suit. Like I don't, I'm not gonna trust Dante Axum. You trust Russell Westbrook to follow a game plan. I'm talking. He's, in my opinion, he was one of the big reasons why they won Game One. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, see, it's, it's it's the verbiage you're using. Like, I trust him to make a play, a positive play. But I don't, I don't think Dante Edson will veer off of whatever game plan that Jason Kidd is writing up. But now. once, but once again, you're, we're talking about they couldn't decide if they were going to play Gaffer or Lively when you sh- clearly should have been playing Gaffer immediately. Why are we? Why are they splitting yeah. minutes? Uh, Rob, Lively's been pretty Lively, good. Lively, one of them boys, he brotherhood too. But once again, you're bringing in Gaffer. Gaffer clearly. Yeah, but Lively just won the starting job. <clears throat> at the once, beginning of the year. Once, okay, Gaffer played for the. I think right after the trade, double double immediately, influenced the game, all the other stuff, and then once he started doing the timeshare shit with Lively. Numbers they started losing games now. Once they made him the definite number one center, all that shit made sense. I'm not trying to say Lively's not good. Lively, I think Lively's a great center, but I'm saying like you don't trade for Gafford to not use him like he was being used in Washington. At least mm. that's why you bought him. He's averaging like two, three blocks. The biggest, a game. yeah. My biggest concern with the Mavs would be Jason Kidd. I think Jason Kidd is a horrendous coach. A cup of water. I think Jason Kidd is, is a bad coach, but I think the series is going to come down to who's the best player on the court. Kawhi locking him up. And that's going to be Luka Doncic. That's if he, as if he's healthy. You no, dude, Kawhi? that guy's cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I think I think the series wins because Luka and Kyrie are just better. Okay. I think so. Mavs in six. All right. My my opinion. I'm uh, sorry. Clips in six. I'll go, Ma- I'll go Mavs and Sits. If, if Kawhi had played game one and he didn't have- If he looked better, then I'd be more worried. Yeah. I think now. whoever wins game... I know it's cliche, but I think, honestly, whoever wins game three will probably win the series. Fair, fair. Um, all right, next series. Timberwolves, Suns. Oh, actually, you know what? why don't we'll you let, do, yeah, do we'll, the we'll the resident Kevin Durant fan. The Kevin Durant stand. <laughs> stan. Now it's my close-up. All right. <clears throat> KD, Suns, we got this in seven games. We're going to win two straight. We're going to take care of home court. Bradley Beal and everybody going to get it together. Bobo may come off the bench a little bit. Oh, no. You know, um, Grayson Allen, you know, he going to get healed up in his ankle a little bit. You know, Royce we'll, O'Neal. We'll, Yusuf Nurkic defense. will go back to 2015. Suns and seven. Uh, Timberwolves in four. <laughs> I think this is done. I got Timberwolves in five. I'm going to say, I hope for his, like as he said, he at least has one game they could pull out at home. Um, Yeah, it's just not looking good right now. It just it seems like dysfunction just follows that guy ever since he left Golden State. Yeah, and, and we talked about this before, but I don't know where that team goes. If they lose this series, like yeah. where the Suns go, do they just run it back and hope they play better? Yeah, because weird because they don't really have anything they could trade to get better assets. They're in the second tier of the luxury tax. Yeah, they have no role players. They have no draft picks. With a roster that really doesn't work. With a roster that doesn't fit together. And Bradley Beal is untradeable. And literally. a coach that you haven't equipped him with players that fit the type of game style that he likes to play. Yeah. Way to go. And they. They but, gave Grace now all the money. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. We're not going with not too much. He a Duke alum. Jesus. Okay. Don't you like kicking people? Not as much as Draymond. Um. All right. Last series. Um. Belt ass. Another one. Um, Belt ass. Nuggets. Lakers. Ten straight. Man, I watched that game too. That was demoralizing. Honestly, if I was a Lakers fan. That might have broke my spirit in terms of watching watching basketball. I don't think they can beat the Nuggets. I think at this point it's me- like it's mental. It's mental. Yeah, you're up twenty, right? They were up yeah. twenty at one point. I'm real with you. Even and you didn't even feel like you're like, oh, Nuggets are still gonna come. Yeah, back. even at even yeah. while they're up twenty, I was like, yeah, no, they're still gonna find a way to get back in this game. And they went on a stretch in the third quarter. 
where they had about a three to four minute run where they literally could not get any points. And while the Nuggets were still down 13, you guys are building momentum. I was like, yeah, all right, this, they're about to break this game open. And then all of a sudden it's a KCP floater, a Michael Porter Jr. three in transition. Christian Braun comes up with a loose ball. And then I don't know if you all remember this. Jokic backing down. Ooh. That was fire. That's that how like you, that was 2008. That's how you play like a man. Yeah. He was backing him down. Now, now, AD, he did a phenomenal job on, the, on him in the first half. And I think it was about the 150-ish mark. He was on the right side of the court. He had AD one-on-one. One on one, and he backed him down from about the elbow, elbow extended down. Uh, Faked left. Did drop step up up under and came back over his right shoulder. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. That's how you get a bucket when you need one. No, Not taking an 18-foot mid, midi over somebody half a, half a foot shorter than you. <laughs> the real game that y'all aren't watching is Joker's brothers in the stands. Real Serbians, yeah, y'all, y'all see <laughs> the y'all real see Serbians. That? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was looking disappointed by that punch. Oh, that dude ate that. Yeah, which was all like, bro, like for how big there. Yeah, yeah. But if that was Jaw, news. Got I it. mean, it still was news. It still was news. Not like major news. Yes, it was. I don't feel like it was talked about enough. It was. It led the A block on both, on both like undisputed and first take today. Okay, I I didn't watch it today clearly, but yeah. uh, I I I just saw it on TikTok <laughs> the 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 punch, and I was just like, I don't know. I just felt like the jaw or anyone else. It was just so like more magnified. Where I'm like, oh my gosh, like everybody's talking about it. Not to cape for them right now. I'll say this with jaw like. When you have a series of incidents, ah, okay, I give it, yeah. that. I give it, I give it, I give it. I'll just say this: um, I feel very sad because you know, what do you even say to your brothers? You know, you know, like, come on, bro. What you- I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like whoever happened in that situation, that dude probably earned it. Because what are you yeah. saying? What are you saying to me? To what are you saying to someone for them to be so angry or you know reactionary that they punch you? Uh, we're gonna ask our resident. Uh, he's also a, he's a, he's a, he's a Slav. They're Slavs. So there we go. Yeah. We're gonna ask. But for them, resident. it's just like all right, time. Let me go punch this guy. Uh, yeah. I mean, short fuse. Um, and I think not the, la- the best communication skills. Probably. But I'll say, but in the <laughs> last, but in the last couple of years, y'all admit though we've gotten like a lot of clips in, in the Jokic in, brothers. Not even just with them, but just like in general with NBA fans, where they be jawing at the mouth, saying you thinking you could say whatever oh, to celebrities. Yeah, yeah. And you know your dumbass probably said this shit thinking, oh, I'm about to get a check from you know the Jokic brothers. He's not the one with the bag, dumbass. So you could sue him. I'm, for instance, say I was up five hundred mil. Your mom. A uh, blood brother, you know, whatever have you. Just because I have money doesn't mean suing him is going to do anything. And if he doesn't have any houses or assets in his house, I mean, his name rather than like, what does that do? You're not going to help me? No, why would I? Damn, that's crazy. No, think about it. Like, they can't take half of nothing. So I'm going to be poor? No, 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 no. You could be living it, like in a, in a state I give you, but those aren't your hey, homes. Hey, hey. Just like that one soccer player when the chick was like, oh, I get half your assets. <laughs> he had it all in his mom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> she was sick. Hakimi. <laughs> Hakimi, yeah. 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 Oh, she had one of those divorce parties. Like, mm-hmm. I got him, girl. <laughs> yeah. He said, mama. <laughs> yep. Uh, nug- nuggets and four, though. Uh, Nuggets and five. I think Nuggets and four. I think... This is gonna get historically nah, bad. Adam Silver, Bro. Adam Silver is not gonna let his baby be hurt. You, like you, mean, you mean like? Oh, you mean like last year? What do you mean they swept him last year? Well, not like this. No, it was quite literally no, being swept in the Eastern Conference, the Western Conference Finals. Is different being swept in the first round. The first two games were close. The second game was, you know, the Nuggets had to come back. I could see the Nuggets blowing them out in game three. Because yeah. the Lakers are going to be so... Bro, they look gassed at the end the of the game. The Lakers are going to be so demoralized from that. And then Marvin, uh, Darvin Ham is... Holy fuck. Because, like, what do you even say in the locker room after holy that? fuck, dude. That guy is something. Cooked, um, cooked, 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 cooked. Yeah. Well. Well. We're going to close this out today. Big Serbian beast. I'm not Serbian. Please don't call me that. What, uh, what, what are you? What are you? Carpathian. Uh, <laughs> tell them. Tell them. It starts with an R. 
Uh, yeah, I'm Romanian. Uh, yeah. Carpathian. But uh, thank you for watching. If you listen to the end, much much appreciated, much obliged. Uh, feel free to subscribe, like, uh, send this to anyone uh, that's listening. If you're listening on Spotify, thank you for listening. If you're on YouTube, you got to see us. Uh, otherwise, check out the Instagram page. Donate if you'd like to. But we'll catch you on the next one. All right, yeah. We out. You probably wonder if I think of you. Sorry, I'm for the bag right now. Yeah, I'm for the bag right now. Yeah, for the bag that I never had. Yeah, you probably mad right now. Yeah, I got a two piece now. Oh, shit, I think they call them groupies now.